in the Weather Center now with Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein. And some of us have been getting a little bit of rain. Yeah. Did and that continue? That's only the second time that's happened yeah. in almost three weeks. Of it's course, we got plenty early on in the month. But yeah, a quick downpour still east of the Triangle, Sharon. We're right there east of I-95 in between, really, Wilson and Rocky Mount. A small downpour moving quickly to the east. So that's likely going to bring a little bit of rain to you guys in Tarboro. And I know you're probably still a little bit gun shy with what happened earlier this month. But know that it is a uh, fast mover and should not bring uh, copious amounts of rain. And that is about it for our area as we look across the Tar Heel State. Not much else going on as we wait on a non-cold front to come through tonight. Of course, outside right now, ahead of the front, it's still pretty warm. And, you know, normally I don't show you temperatures at 11 because we're all inside and in bed and we're not going to go out until tomorrow morning. But, I mean, think about this. We're still close to 70 degrees at 11 o'clock at night and it's almost November, so this is pretty unusual, and it's a lot warmer than where we were last night at 11 o'clock. Look at the 24-hour temperature change. So we really warmed up today, and we've stayed really warm tonight. I mean, it's 22 degrees warmer right now in Clayton than it was last night at this time. And likewise, we expect warmer temperatures tomorrow morning. So that 39 we had a few mornings ago, that's history. 56 as you start your Friday morning as we continue hour by hour after a few clouds early on will click quickly and quickly clear out as temperatures go up to about 73 degrees. So no cool down really after the non-cool front moving through tonight. And I want to make one more point about the rain because I know we got drenched earlier this month with Hurricane Matthew 5 to 15 inches depending on where you are. And the new drought map came out today and obviously there is not even a hint and there won't be for a while of drought in central or eastern North Carolina. But look at our friends in the mountains. It is bad up there. They didn't get a drop of rain from Matthew. And parts of western North Carolina are in an extreme drought. So it's a totally different situation for our friends in the mountains to really the rest of the state. So they kind of would like some rain, but it's just not there ahead of the cold front. But what is there? An area of high pressure. That'll build in tomorrow. That'll quickly clear us out. And then as we get into the final weekend of October, it's going to help warm us up with temperatures close to 80 degrees. However, Sunday night into early Monday morning, a real cold front comes through. No rain with it, but it will drop our temperatures back on Monday for the last day of the month for Halloween. Not going to be cold, but cooler for the trick-or-treaters. Not cool this weekend. Look how warm it's going to be. We start off around 50 on Saturday morning on our way to a high of 77 under sunny skies, equally as sunny on Sunday with highs close to 80 degrees. And mild, not as warm as this weekend, but mild tomorrow. After a few morning clouds, we'll clear out and have temperatures in the mid to lower 70s. And your seven-day forecast will take us from that 73 tomorrow up to 77 Saturday. 80 on Sunday. There's our next cold front with no rain but with slightly cooler temperatures. Again, 73 on Halloween. And then we stay in the mid and even upper 70s for the first few days of September. I mean, November. It's not going to feel like <laughs> right. November yeah. next week or this weekend.